Hey guys! So I hope you can hear me okay. So those of you who pop on first or if you replay, let me know if this worked. But I felt led to go live. Yes, I'm in my car. Yes, I'm driving. No, I'm not gonna look at the phone when I'm moving. Like the light just turned green. So I'm gonna look over here now. Um, so I'm driving over to the kids center. I um, driving over there. I picked up a shift this afternoon just because I need to hit my required hours and they needed help. There's a lot of stuff going on over there and you know, who doesn't want to play with kids and hold babies? Yes, yes please. Um, so I'm driving now and I have the windows down so let me know if you can hear me because I don't want to put them up. It's a beautiful day. It is such a beautiful day and I was sitting here thinking about my growth that I have felt in the last week and things I am working on and then I was like mm, maybe I should go live and share these things I feel like I should but I'm driving and the windows are down I don't know if they can hear me I don't know if I should do it and then I was like well let's see what song comes on maybe it's a good song I can sing to or lip sing to and go live like that and then um, but it was um, so it started going and I'm like mm, song and then it then I started listening and realized it got to the verse and it's go tell it on the mountain. I was like, I need to go tell them these things. I need to tell them these things. Someone needs to hear these things. So I've been working for about, I don't know, I want to say nine days right now on myself and focusing on myself. And that's hard because you feel especially as a mom, super selfish. And I know Jack's watching right now, so that makes this harder. Um, sorry, Jack, I didn't call you. I thought about it was either calling you or going live. Um, and I feel very selfish when I focus on myself. When I tell my kids, no, mommy needs to focus on herself right now. But maybe that will instill in them good habits that they can follow themselves. Oh, someone's getting... Lots of people are, oh, 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 let's all just stop. Santa Claus is coming, y'all! How do I turn the camera around? It's Santa Claus! <laughs> I'm getting honked at behind me. I guess they don't realize that there's tra stop traffic in front of me. Like, there's nothing I can do. Um, they do that here, and it's amazing. They bring Santa Claus around. So, Jack, be prepared with the kids. Santa Claus might be driving past the house in a second. Um, I have been working really hard the last nine days to take care of my mind, my body, and my spirit. And so by my body is the easiest one. I've been trying to take care of my body. And so I have completely stopped eating anything. All right, it's going to be easier to tell you what I do eat. Um, I eat fruit, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, and they're only cooked if I cook them and um, like beans and nuts. That's what I've been eating. So last night I was a little hungry before I went to bed so I had celery and almond butter. And um, the other night for dinner I really wanted broccoli and so I made broccoli and I cooked up some mushrooms and onions with it. And I made this vegan, um, I'm, this vegan cheese sauce out of cashews and nutritional yeast and some seasoning and water. And it was amazing. Jack said it was the best cheese sauce he'd ever had. And um, that's what I ate. I ate broccoli and I put cheese sauce on it with cooked onions and mushrooms. And it was so good. Um, and so this is what I do. Like, I just had an apple. Uh, I'm, I have a bag of beans here. And um, I have to tell you that in the last nine days, I feel so much more energized. And I feel physically today like really good like damn on day nine or ten and I feel really good I've also lost um, eight and a half pounds in nine days so very excited about that aspect um, you know eating and it's just and I enjoy it it's good so that's how I'm taking care of my body taking care of my mind I have been Whenever I feel compelled to watch Netflix or to play games on my phone or do anything that is mindless and not necessary to my life, I instead listen to an uplifting podcast.
and I've been listening to the Rachel Hollis podcast. Um, listening to the Rachel Hollis podcast on Spotify. It's called Rise, R-I-S-E, and it is just mind-blowing how much it makes you go, huh, and like (laughs) think about your life and how to like take care of myself and take care of my family and um, my spirit, I'm taking care of my spirit by, I have been at church a lot lately. Um, mainly because it's Christmas season. I'm at a red light now. Mainly because it's Christmas season and, you know, I am I get asked to come sing. And so, like, this morning I was at um, Erica's church. Uh, she is a, um, hashtag Rachel Hollis. Um, she is a um, music director at a church here in town. And, um, you know, on top of everything else that she does. And um, for those of you, you, know, you guys know Erica. She is our amazingly beautiful. I'm getting a phone call. Ignore. Decline. Um, Erica is um, our amazingly beautiful inside and out um, three, um, 3X model. She always tries on all of our new styles in 3X so I can see what it looks like on a, a 3X body. Um, and I was at her church this morning singing because her church's cantata is tomorrow and she um, wanted me to come sing with them. And they're a super sweet group of people. And um, I felt so touched this morning in rehearsal. We were practicing in her sanctuary and was just, I don't know what happened, but it I felt very moved. Um, and it was awesome. Now, I am by no means perfect, guys. By no means perfect. Um, do I get angry about my food choices? Yes, when my husband is eating um, tortilla chips, which are my absolute favorite thing in the world right now, is very hard for me. Um, And I get angry sometimes, but deep breaths. And do I want to listen to Rachel Hollis all the time? No. I want to play this new game on my phone called One More Brick. Don't download it. It's terribly addicting. It's awful. Don't do it. I'm not going to tell you the name of it again. Um... You know, do I want to hear these hard truths and deal with this stuff? I No. Right? Wouldn't it be so much easier to just ignore everything? But then I would be severely unhappy all of the time. Um, and I am still unhappy sometimes. I still sit in a... Oh, hold on. I'm going... The speed limit here. You're not going to be able to hear me. Um, I still pretty much every single night sit in a very, very dark place in my mind. Um, Tell myself that there is a very evil thing in there that um, in my mind, in this dark place that is in there and it tells me I'm not good enough. And it tells me I'm a terrible mom. And it tells me that I'm super unhealthy and there's nothing I'm ever going to be able to do about it. It tells me I'm making all the wrong decisions for my family. It tells me I'm a failure at my business. It tells me I'm never going to be able to pay off my debt. It tells me that I'm unattractive and there's nothing I can do to fix it. And it tells me that I'm doing nothing absolutely nothing right and that I have failed. I have failed at life and I have failed myself and I should just not be here anymore because the world would be a better place without me being such a screw up in it. And I struggle with that every day, guys. Every day. It's easier on days when the sun is out and it's just beautiful outside and my kids are being great and I can try and just ignore things that are going on, but I am not perfect. I am not, you know, that epitome perfect Instagram mom, but you know what? They aren't either. They're lying. (laughs) If you think that that's them all the time, it's not true. And... 
even though I am working on myself and I am in therapy and I am in a much, much better place than I was last April, March, April, May, a much better place, um, I'm not out of it. I'm out of it sometimes, which is nice. I have good moments. I have good days, but there's usually at least one time a day where I fall into that little hole and that evil person starts talking to me. Um, and I'm working on this mind, body, and soul. And I just felt led to share this with you guys and to let you know what kind of journey I am on and trying to revitalize my business and get back to all of the things. So, um, I'm almost to where I need to be. So if you're just jumping on Tiffany, I just saw your head pop up. I'm not looking at the phone. I'm not looking at the phone. I promise. Um, I'm going to go play with some kids and play with bubbles and hold babies. Oh, I need to change my shirt. I'm in the wrong shirt. Um, yeah. I love you guys. And this is a beautiful Saturday morning and I hope that all of you are happy with your mind and happy with your body because you have a beautiful body and happy with your soul. And um, let's make today a great day because it is a choice. I fully believe it is a choice. It is a conscious choice that we make every single day if it's going to be a good day or a bad day. We make that decision. Nothing that can happen to us or in front of us or around us can determine if we are going to be happy or not. That is our choice. We can take a moment to react and we can take a moment to appreciate when things happen, but it is our choice. So I am here. I'm going to change and I can't do that on Facebook. Slide. So, wow, I'm going to fix this hot mess. Love you. I'm going to read all these comments later. I obviously can't read comments when I'm driving, but you guys are awesome. Have a great Saturday. Let's go kick some butt out there, y'all. <laughs>